Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with another vlog entry in my series chronicling my attempted escapes from New Yorkistan and my upcoming attempt at quasi-van nomadism. It is currently about 1.30 in the morning on the East Coast and it is now officially May 31st, 2018. Uh, because it is May 31st, 2018, which is the closing day for my house, which means it's a thir and it's a Thursday, uh, I'm due to have a, an episode of my podcast, Abolitionist Abstractions, out as well. And, well, I'm just not going to have the time. So I am actually going to put this out uh, for you fine folks at Steam It uh, and wherever else you can find this eventually uh, as, as a video for the vlog. But I'm going to take the audio from it and put it out for my podcast this week as well because, well, like I said time is limited and I don't want to get too far off schedule. Anyway, so here it is, the last night at my house in Levittown. And it has been, man, it has been one hell of a ride, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, I, I, did a, I did a video earlier, to, uh, well, I guess technically yesterday, um, but it's still today for me. So earlier today, <laughs> Um, that was uh, my up, my latest court update, which was supposed to come yesterday. Unfortunately, well, uh, I explained it in that video. They they moved the date without telling me and then claimed that the date was never moved. Uh, the whole big mess. I showed up two days in a row when I didn't need to. Uh, it pushed back my plans for getting everything done around here. Uh, I had told everybody that I was going to put out this. This was going to be the last vlog before Cameron and I, Murder Dog, my pup, before we finally hit the road, uh, at which point I was going to attempt to do daily videos chronicling our experiences out there, trying to do, you know, the uh, stealth camping and stuff like that, and uh, just basically, you know, getting to experience uh, some some interesting things. So... Yeah, so because of that, it's my whole schedule is pushed off, and you know by one thirty in the morning on Thursday, uh, you know Thursday morning, I expected to be getting ready to go to sleep or maybe asleep already. Originally, we you know going to spend the last night in the house. Uh, I had planned on crashing in my kids' room because it's the one room in the house with carpet, but we actually cleaned the upstairs a few days ago, and nobody's been up there since. And I just really don't want to go up there because we have people, you know, the, the buyers are coming in at 1130 in the morning for the final walkthrough. And I don't want to clean any more than I have to at this point because, well, uh, I had to scrub down the entire house as it was. Uh, thankfully, my my wife was here to help me today and she, she was a big help getting uh, doing a lot of cleaning, doing a lot of cleaning stuff. And, you know, the packing is pretty much done. The only thing that's left in the house at this point is just you know, my little setup here that I'm recording on. Uh, I actually put pretty much everything else away already. You know, I, my mixer, my other laptop. Uh, so I'm just running this straight, uh, you know, the microphone straight into, straight into my laptop, which I normally don't do, but I did this earlier and the, and the, uh, the, the recording sounded pretty good still. So I was like, all right, we'll, we'll run with this. I mean, as I'm talking, I hear the echoes. So I apologize if this is a lot more echoey than you're used to hearing me. But, you know, again, uh, my studio is no more and I'm not set up in the car yet. So this is what you got to deal with. Anyway, so like I said, uh, things got screwed up. I'm, I'll put a link to the in the show notes for the uh, court update if uh, you guys didn't catch that and you want to, you know, know or understand more of the story. But because of everything that happened and everything getting pushed back and me having to finish everything today when I was expecting to have most everything finished by about this time last night, uh, I didn't get to test out all of the stuff in my, in my, in my element like I wanted to. Uh, I, you know, I had, I'd spoken in the past couple of videos about the stuff that I had been purchasing to kind of get prep, prep for this trip uh, and this whole experience. And my original plan was, again, like I said, to pretty much have everything done by Tuesday. So on, come Wednesday, I could set up the vehicle and start testing stuff out. And you know, we actually, I, I had considered crashing in the vehicle tonight just to, uh, you know, to, to do the testing kind of that way. But the more I think about it, it's like, well, this is, this may be my last night in a house for a while. So we might as well take advantage of it. And I, you know, like I said, I still don't want to go upstairs. So I'm probably just going to throw the sleep bag down here in the living room on the hard tile floor. 
but that's okay because we're going to be sleeping on the hard plastic of the ele- of the floor of the element <laughs> with a couple of blankets in my sleeping bag, and that's pretty much all the padding we're going to have. So I'll just put the same setup in here and see how it goes. And, you know, the floors are clean at least now. I just you know that was the last thing I did. I finished uh, finished all the packing. There's the only things that still actually need to get packed into the storage unit are the last remaining. Uh, Cleaning supplies, like, you know, the vacuum and the mop and stuff like that, and a couple of things, uh, you know, little items that I somehow overlooked that ma- that I have to go in there too because I don't really want to carry them with me because I have enough stuff as it is. And, you know, the other reason I'm not really ready to sleep in the car just yet is because while, while pretty much everything's packed up and I, I'm taking pretty much what I planned with me, there's some additional stuff too because... Over the past couple of weeks, we've been trying to sell a bunch of things that we knew weren't going to be able to fit in the storage unit, and we really didn't have that much use for anymore. Unfortunately, we were only able to sell about half of that stuff, even though I kept dropping the price on most of it. You know, a lot of it was kids' items. You know, old, you know, older stuff that we had from when our you know kids were like you know infants and toddlers and stuff that we st- still managed to have stashed in different places, and uh, all in pretty good condition actually. A bunch of people have remarked that uh, even the ones there was a bunch of stuff that we finally just gave up on and put out to the curb with a sign free. You know, come take it. And uh, a couple of people have remarked to my wife how great condition you know what a great condition our stuff was still in. And it's like, well, yeah, we, we, you know, we try to take care of our stuff. We try to teach our kids the value of taking care of their stuff because if they break it, then they don't have it anymore. That whole thing, uh, you know, because we're not just going to keep buying them new ones. So, so yeah, it, it didn't go quite as planned. You know, like I said, we sold about we sold half the stuff and gave away a bunch of stuff, but there's still a small little pile in the garage that needs to go somewhere. And one of the things I was personally trying to get rid of was my mining rig which uh, I think I've talked about before. I've, I've been mining Monero for uh, a while, uh, as well as some other coins too. But uh, I, bought, I bought myself the pieces back in, what was it, I guess, November of last year and pretty much figured out how to build it. On, like, not on my own. I, you know, I, used, I just went online and searched uh, different people and what they were doing and how they were building their rigs and got some tip, tips from people and had some friends who were doing it. And I was like, oh, I'll try this out. Uh, you know, I've talked before. I'm... I'm borderline computer illiterate sometimes most of the times so this was actually a when i finally got the thing up and running and stable it was actually a major accomplishment for me for most people it just, you know a lot of people who are just you know even decent with computers they just would have been like ah you know whatever this is what we're supposed to do me i was like yeah i finally did it but anyway uh so i've been mining pretty much consistently since december i think is when i finally got the rig up and running uh maybe mid-december so i know like five six months now and uh, it's been a great experience, but unfortunately, obviously, since we're going to be living out of the vehicle for a while, Cameron and I, I can't have my miner running. Uh, I can't give it to my wife to run because her, you know, her parents who hate me as it is would lose their shit if their electric bill started jumping up. I mean, granted, I think, I think that with the settings I had, I think I was only, you know, spend like 45, 50 bucks extra a month on electricity, which, you know, in the law, in the grand scheme of things, wasn't that bad. You know, what, like $1.50 a day or less? Not a bad deal. Uh, $1.33 or whatever it is. Uh, you know, I'll take that. And, uh, you know, the profits weren't huge, but it was enough to get me some cryptocurrency. Um, but I did put, I had to put the miner up uh, for sale because, again, I, I, I mean, it's just going to be sitting in storage for who knows how long. And that's all that time wasted that is not mining. Uh, I figured I would try to uh, put it out there. And unfortunately, I haven't had any takers yet. And I don't know where I'm going to go with it. <laughs> uh, I do have a friend local who is still mining who I reached out to. I'm waiting for him to get back to me. Hopefully, he'll let me just like store. I mean, I don't even want him to. I mean, he can run it if he wants. Um, but I don't even care about that. I just want. I just need some place to store it. Because uh, with that, with you know, not putting it into the storage unit, because that would just be too much of a pain in the butt. The thing is pretty well packed already, um, and uh, I would have to d- 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 disassemble the the miner in order to actually store it in there and make sure it didn't get destroyed in the in the uh, transit so yeah it's just going to be easier and then there's a couple of other items too that are going to have to be in in the vehicle with uh, murder dog and i for maybe a day or two so testing things out in the car going to be kind of tough we're really just going to have to go for it tomorrow (laughs) and really just figure things out as we go uh, I do have I got the the car carrier I have I got that up on the car today and it's pretty well packed 
with uh, you know camping gear. My most of my cooking gear is up there and stuff like that. Uh, you know my camp chairs, all all that all that all that good stuff. And you know some of some of the stuff for, Mur- for Murder Dog because I, I got one of those tie outs for her. So in case we go somewhere where I, I don't want to keep an eye on her constantly, I can actually. Although she is pretty good, she she usually doesn't go too far. Um, but yeah, so I got that all packed up and then a bunch of stuff thrown in the back of the car at the moment with a big open space for Murder Dog because I figure you know at the, at the at least at the very start once we actually leave here tomorrow to go to the closing, uh, I actually have to drop her drop her off with my wife because I didn't have any other place to go with her at the time and she uh and then after that you know I'll pick her back up and you know I'll go hang out with the kids and and my wife for a little while but then you know once nighttime comes and they have to get 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 heading home and getting ready for bed then we'll be on our own the dog and I and that's when we're really just going to start figuring things out and you know for the first few days we may just I may just be taking a bunch of stuff from the back and like literally just throwing it in the driver's seat so there's room for us uh, but I did at least at the very least I did set up the the blanket that I intend to uh, that I that I have for the you know for the the base for the the, the bottom for us the which is one that Cameron's used to sleeping on anyway because it used to be her blanket for the car um, and I stretched myself out and there's just enough room for me to lay down in there. Just like I, you know, I had tested this out a long time ago and I, I said it, uh, you know, a couple of times recently, like, oh, you know, enough room for me to lie down there at six feet. And I tested it out and yeah, there's just enough room, but there's enough room. So, you know, like I said, we may just throw some, you know, whatever's, whatever's laying around back there, we may just throw a bunch of it up in the front seat. So it may be inconvenient for a while. Uh, I did actually see a picture today. My buddy Shane Radliff from the Vanu podcast, who obviously I've talked about a lot, and you know I've been on his show. He's been on my shows, and we've we've been dis- we've been discussing this a lot because he's somebody who's going. He he was originally planning to go into full, you know, try to do full time van nomadism as opposed to like the quasi just playing around with the thing that I'm doing right now as of next year. But he just recently told me, and I think he actually announced it on his show that he's stepping up the process. And probably going to do it in a few months. He's going to try. So I'm super stoked for him. And hopefully we'll actually get to cross paths because of that. Because he's going to be traveling down south from uh, from from Chicago, from Illinois. And I'm going to be headed out west at some point uh, from New York. So hopefully we can actually meet up along the way. But he sent me a really cool picture earlier of some guy who has an element, a Honda element, just like me, and is doing some kind of van nomadism stuff. And he sent me the picture. It just said, hey, here's an element with a with a quote unquote conversion. And sure enough, the guy had a full like, you know, twin bed or whatever it was in the back of the thing jacked up. Uh, so there was like a good, it looked like at least, you know, eight to 12, maybe even 12 inches of clearance underneath the bed where he could store stuff. And I was like, that's a pretty good idea. You know, if I didn't have Murder Dog with me, I think I would definitely consider that. With her, it would probably make things a little more difficult because that number one, she'd always have to be on the bed, which I don't necessarily mind because she slept with me for years before before my wife came along. And she still, you know, she still slept with us more times than not. But, you know, the one thing I was thinking about today is the unfortunate thing about living this kind of lifestyle with the dog is on rainy days and stuff. And, you know, when it gets all muddy out, I'm going to have to be extra careful about trying to clean her paws as we get into the car. So she doesn't make as much of a mess, uh, you know, and get everything all muddy because, you know, then we have to tear everything apart and go clean it and stuff on, you know, more often than not. And that's just going to be a royal pain in the butt. So, like I said, we're, we're really just we're going at this I with. With with definitely a, a knowledge base, but we're you know not as well prepped as I wanted to be, and we're gonna kind of be winging a lot of this, so it's gonna be interesting. We'll see. You know, like I said, I I've said all along, I I'm I'm looking forward to this experience, and I was talking to somebody else about this today, and also a conversation that came up between my my wife and I too, and it's you know I I am looking forward to this, but this is not something I necessarily want to do because of my situation. Like I kind of, I'm kind of forced into this. So what I'm trying to really do is make the best of this. That's really what this comes down to. I mean, yes, I, I've said I am looking forward to the experience because I want to see if I can accomplish it. But it, this is all based on something that I, I, I kind of have to do at the moment because, you know, I don't really have a choice unless I want to blow whatever money we're actually going to 
get after the sale is complete and everybody gets paid off, you know, and then I pay off all the bills that we have and stuff like that, like whatever little money that we were supposed to have for our little nest egg to get the heck out of here. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to just blow through that. I could, you know, and rent a place and maybe, maybe rent a big place so the whole family could be together again. But since we have no law, no idea how long that's going to be because of, you know, my court situation, which again, I'll, I, I'll put that link in the show notes and you'll, you'll hear all about it. If you check that out about how things got delayed again, and now, uh, my next court date isn't until July 9th, uh, almost a month, you know, a l- little less than a month and a half from now. And even then, that's not a trial date. So who knows how much longer, you know, we're already at, we're already at almost 13 months. So who knows how much longer this is going to go. So it just, it just doesn't make sense to spend that type of money, especially here in New York where it's so expensive. So I'm trying to do what I, I think is, is the smartest move, which is to save the most money and let my kids and wife stay someplace where they already have a place to stay. It's just someplace I'm not allowed, <laughs> which is actually fine because I really wouldn't want to be there anyway. I would probably be pushed over the edge by her parents who I, I despise them every bit, probably more than than as they despise me. Who knows? Whatever. I We don't like each other at all. <laughs> and, you know, so I w- really wouldn't want to be there anyway. But I do want to be with my kids and my wife. It's just, you know, we're gonna have to figure. We're gonna have to make this work, and we've kind of been making it work for the past couple of weeks anyway, because they moved back into the apartment weeks ago in order to kind of get them adjusted to it again. Because they're still young, you know, they're almost seven now. But all these changes, and they're uh, they're getting confused about stuff, and you know, so I, I couldn't really blame them, bl- blame her for wanting to do that. It made sense. But, uh, you know, we're just, we're going to, like I said, I'm making the best of it that, and because I'm trying to make the best of it, then what, what, how do I do that? Well, well, let's take this experience and try to turn it into a positive, right? Um, sort of like, you know, a stoic approach kind of too. just, you know, this is what I have to work with. Okay. I'm going to control the things I can. Well, I can control how much money we, you know, I spend while we're stuck here the best I can. And this is the, one of the ways I think I I can minimize the spending as much as possible. So we're going to try it. Uh, you know, luckily I actually, for, for all the, for, for however much I hate this horrible place and desperately want out of here and have said that I just, you know, you know, my, my family's here, but I don't speak to pretty much any of them anymore because of everything that's happened. And I've lost a lot of friends and stuff. Uh, there are a few people here that I still do care about. And actually, two of them reached out to me today, which was kind of cool. I hadn't heard from either of them in a little while. And uh, they were both like, oh, my God, we just, you know, we saw this. You know, One of them saw the video <laughs> and was like, oh, my God, I didn't even realize this was going on. Like, you're living out of your car with, with Cameron? What the hell? Like... I, you know, I want to help. How can I help you? <laughs> she's like, you know what you, you know, because of her situation, she's like, you know, you can't stay. And unfortunately, because of my situation, you know, you can't stay here with her. Um, but if I can help you in any other way. And then the another, the other friend saw the conversation between me and the first friend on social media. She messaged me and she's like, hey, I just saw your back and forth with, with so-and-so. Um, oh my God, this is, you know, what can I do? And she's like, oh, you know, she's trying to figure out a way for a, a place for us to stay, which I really do appreciate. And, uh, but you know, like I told, told the first friend, my, you know, the reason I didn't reach out to anybody necessarily is because this is one hell of an imposition as far as I'm concerned, you know, Hey, can I come stay with you for an indefinite amount of time? (laughs) Yeah. So, uh, as much as I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, like I said, like I told both of them and, you know, I'll say the same to the few other people around here that I actually still give crap about. Uh, I definitely, cause plenty of people said it to me, you better, you better at least come, you know, better at least see me before you leave. I still plan on seeing every, every one of you at some point where, you know, Cameron and I are going to have plenty of free time at night because uh, Jen and the kids will be back at the apartment. So, you know, you want to come hang out with us or we'll come meet, meet up with you and want to chill somewhat. Yeah. We're definitely gonna, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll stop by and see some people and, uh, you know, like I said, the, the, this is, this is just me trying to make the best of it. So uh, let's see. How long have I been rambling on for? Yeah, 20 minutes almost. I don't even know if I have much else tonight. I should be tired. Of course I'm not. I'm wired. You know, like I said, now it's 10, 10 to 2 in the morning. <laughs> uh, I don't actually have to be up early, so I, I think that might be part of it. 
especially after getting up back to back days early, much earlier than I like to when I don't have anything to do um, for court. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, like I said, I think that's part of it because the, the walkthrough, the final walkthrough is at 1130 in the morning tomorrow, I think. So, yeah, as long as I'm up by like nine ish. <laughs> Uh, you know, just to get the last couple of things out of the house so that when they come here, there's actually nothing in the house except what I'm leaving behind because, uh, you know, there's a couple of things like, uh, the dishwasher I have, you know, you get, you get those little finished pods that it, you know, works perfectly with it. Like I have extra stuff like that. It's like, oh, I'm just going to leave it for you for, I mean, if you guys don't want to throw it out, but you know, instead of going buying new stuff, I'm not going to be able to use it. Yeah. That, you know, the laundry detergent that's made specifically for the lawn, you know, the, the unit that I have and all that stuff. Um, but other than that, I got to get everything else out. So yeah, as long as I get up by then and do it, uh, it should be fine. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this is, uh, it's interesting. You know, I was, I was remarking earlier to my kids and my wife that it's, you know, cause well, they've never seen it, but I, you know, I've, I haven't seen this house this empty since I bought it. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird. You know, and, and obviously I changed some things, you know, there's, there's a new floor in here, all the appliances in the kitchen and stuff. And we moved some cabinets around. So it still doesn't even, cause I was trying to recall if I had a picture from the day, like I moved in when it was empty or like when we first got here, but I couldn't find one. And, uh, I was trying to remember, it's like, yeah, it doesn't look the same, but it's still weird. It's just weird. You know, as much as I want to be out of here, desperately, desperately want to be out of here. Uh, it's still, you know. Still a little bittersweet. This was uh, my first experience at home ownership. Uh, I spent almost 11 years here uh, because uh, what did I, I bought the house in September of 07. Yeah, so a couple, couple, few months shy of uh, 11 years. And, you know, the bulk, the bulk of you know, the overwhelming bulk of that time I was running my business out of this place. And, uh, you know, that was great. Um, so, you know, it's, it's sad in that respect to leave this stuff behind and to also not have a place to, that I can call my own other than the car for the time being going to be kind of weird, you know, not have a place where my, unless, unless I end up at a campsite, it's not really gonna have a place that my kids can come visit, <laughs> come hang out at, come stay at, uh, so that sucks. <laughs> But, you know, like I said, all in all, I'm, I'm, I've been desperately trying to get out of here so badly that it's a good thing. It's, it's going to be weird and it's going to take some getting used to. And because of the further lack of preparation due to everything that happened, I'm probably going to fail even more than I thought I was going to originally. I think that was two videos ago when I talked about the fact that, yeah, my whole, my, I plan my, my daily vlogs to be like a blooper reel because, <laughs> because they're just going to be screw up after screw up. But uh, it may be, it may be a little, a little more touch and go for the first couple of days now. But we'll see, you know, we'll see. I, I think, I think we'll be all right, you know. Especially that I know now that there's, a, there's some people out there, that, and there were a couple other people that I know that were, that were somewhat close by that I was considering reaching out to, and not even just to ask them if I could stay with them. Just be like, hey, you know, what do you, what are you doing at night? You know, you want to hang out one night? You know. Uh, you know, or, or, or at least come by just to hang out, not, you know, not, not trying to hit people up for a piece of stay. I mean, if they're going to offer us the place, a place to stay, that's a whole different story, but I'm not, I'm not asking. I'm just going to, you know, maybe look for some people to hang out with. <laughs> so we're not totally alone all the time. Um, because that's going to, that's going to be the, I think the most difficult thing, not, not the being alone. Cause I like being alone, but, uh, but it's the whole like not having my kids or, and like, like, it's one thing when they're not here and, but I still know I can call and be like, Hey, can you bring them over or whatever? And, and they can come by in rather short order. Um, now it might be a little more difficult, you know? And, and again, we've already been spending less time together cause you know, they get up in the morning by the time they eat breakfast and get ready and get, finally get dressed and do whatever it's, you know, and they have other, you know, they have doctor's appointments or Jen has work and you know, all these other things, you know, they haven't been getting here most days until like noon and then they're gone by seven. It's going to be cut down probably even a little bit more now, depending on, you know, where I start my day, where, where our journeys take us. But, you know, like I said, that, that'll be the roughest part, but we'll deal. We will deal. 
All right. Now I'm just babbling for the sake of babbling. So I, I think I, I think I'm done. I still don't feel tired. Um, having the coffee seltzer starting at about an hour ago probably wasn't the best idea at uh, at then at one o'clock in the morning. But damn it, these things are delicious. And no, these are not these are not a paid advertisement. But hey, Hal's, if you want me to, I would love to do some advertisements for you. Just saying. But yeah, Hal's New York. If you get your hands on the stuff, coffee uh, coffee seltzer, amazing, amazing. And uh, what is it, 174, I think, 174 milligrams of, uh, of caffeine. Great stuff. Anyway, like I said, I think that's enough. So I am going to end this now. So for my podcast listeners, sorry for the, well, a little bit shorter so than usual, but uh, I hope you guys understand this week. It's, uh, you know, I, I, I can easily do solo shows, and I've done plenty of them before, but there was just no way. After recording the court video this morning and then not being able to actually get around to putting it up on steam it until like nine o'clock tonight and then find, not doing this recording until 1 30 in the morning there was just no way i could do a third recording of a completely different conversation it just it wasn't gonna happen <laughs> not tonight guys not tonight but i figured this is better than just not having an episode come out or, you know, putting out one of those two minute crappy filler episodes that says, Hey, really sorry. I missed it, which I know is appreciated. And I've been told before by, by, by multiple fans that they do appreciate that, that I put those little fillers in there. So you, you know, so you don't think we've pod, yeah, I've pod faded or anything, but you know, I figured at least, at least you get a little more meteor content this way, but hopefully by next Thursday, I will at least be in somewhat, I was about to say full swing, but We'll be in some kind of swing. I doubt it'll be full. <laughs> Half? Quarter? Am I aiming too high? Sixteenth of a swing? I don't know. We'll see what happens. But either way, uh, I should definitely be able to have a podcast uh, out next week. Uh, as you know, The Seeds of Liberty, I don't know what we're doing with that. We were supposed to get a, a couple episodes ahead. I think we're only two episodes ahead now, unfortunately. It's not as many as I wanted to be. We're going to have to figure that whole deal out. And I know I did tell Michael Dean at the Freedom Fiends I would try to get him ep an episode next week because I didn't get him one last week, uh, this past week, although I did get him two of the week before. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I plan to be able to do a, do a lot more recording once we're actually out there because, well, we're going to have time to kill. So it shouldn't be an issue. But aside from that, everybody, thank you everybody for listening. Thank you everybody for watching. And uh, for for those of you watching the vlogs, the vlog in this in this series, then uh, please uh, continue to continue to follow along because, like I said, starting tomorrow, these should be coming out daily. All right. Well, I don't think I'm gonna go sleep, but I'm gonna sign off for now. So thank you again, everybody, and uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.